So we got the Black History Month, right? This is supposed to be about us, us coming together, showing off what we got, what we can, who we are. We get to show what we can do, what we're all about, show our strength, also our vulnerabilities. You know, that's what Black History Month is all about, coming together and showing the greatness of blackness. Now, of course, we do allow other communities to come into our spaces and partake in our events, maybe learn something from us. But actually, for me, Black History Month is about us and us coming together and us empowering ourselves. It has nothing to do with the other communities, but they're welcome. So yesterday was kind of a weird day for me because I intended to go support my Palestinian brothers and sisters. And before that, I went to uh, show some love to my mother-in-law because she just had an operation. That lasted quite a while. So by the time I got to the Palestinian demonstration, they were all gone. So I went on to the next event. It was an event in a bookshop. Afri Euro Text is the name of the bookshop and it was about African symbols. So I get there, the event starts, and I do my thing as usual, you know, documenting for, for the community, for those of, of you who couldn't make it. And while I'm filming, this white guy stands up, comes towards me, and asks me, who am I filming for? Why am I filming? How long am I gonna film for? Starts asking me all these questions. And I tell him, I ask him, do you wish not to be in the picture? And he goes on, yeah. I mean, he doesn't mind being in the picture, but I should just not film the whole time. So by then I was very angry. Our host was in the middle of his speech. So out of respect for him, I didn't want to make a scene, start cussing that white man out. So I just sat down, swallowed my anger. And when our host was done, I got up. I thanked him for the invitation. I went over to the white man. And I told him that this was a safe space for African people and people of African descent. And he, as a white man, has no right to come into this safe space and tell me what to do. And for the sake of peace and for the sake of the continuation of the event, I decided to vacate the premises. Now this, this goes to show you or demonstrate the audacity of Caucasians, the caucasity that they have, the boldness that they have to come into our spaces and ask that we do or not do what they wish us to do or not do. Now the host reached out to me a few hours later and said that the said white man wanted to apologize and that he had a project that he would like me and him to work together on. Now you see this tactic? That's exactly what white people like to do. First of all, they will insult you in your own space. They will try to dominate you and then come up with a sorry ass excuse and then try to buy you with some kind of project or whatever it is that they think that might interest you. So I told the host that I declined the offer. I, I said I do not need new neither his excuses, nor do I need to work together on a project with his sorry ass. And that was that. But it's just to demonstrate how white people are. Be careful out there, my brothers and sisters.